I was thinking of a new game giveaway for fluid film name the part it's tough these days because you can just about google anything but today is not that day because <laughs> I made a goof and I'm gonna pay a slight price of inconvenience but I have an idea only Corvair people would know what I've got the camera pointing at it is the middle bracket that holds the camber compensator in place on my 62 slash 64 spider and why am I showing you that because I've got to deal with it well once upon a time what was a creeper a creep on a creeper once upon a time there was some differential gear lube on sale at Walmart GL5 gear lube number five and I bought one pail of it and I bought two pails of it and I bought a pail of GL1 whatever the heck that is so I said geez I'm all prepared when I had that differential to put in this spider I said I'll just fill it up with GL5 so I filled it up spilled a lot of it on the ground and then I refilled it, made sure it was good and full. And then I read a post on the Corvair Center forum. And what did the post say? Never, under any circumstances, put GL5 in your manual transmission differential. Because Corvair differentials share the lube transmission differential. There's a share hole, which we discussed in a previous video. And the GL5 has some friction modifiers, slippery, grippery, goopieries that damage the synchros. And I've got a differential full of GL5. So one of the guys says, no problem. Just buy a drill pump. Pump that goopy out of there. So I did. Six bucks. Easier said than done because crawl underneath here and to remove the top differential cover which is up top, you've got a heater motor in the way on one side. The heater motor is right there. Nice original 50 year old heater motor. The cover is right there. And I got it all nice and silly gooped in place. And on the other side, you've got the starter in the way. So I look underneath for a drain plug boss, which of course is the first thing that I did. And there's a drain plug boss. But there's no drain plug like there is in the transmission, which is partially filled with differential oil with the wrong designation. So I was looking around saying, well, can I drill the bottom of this case? And that's where we come to the camper and compensator bracket. I'm going to do something. I'm going to drill right through the bolt where it dead ends, dead heads inside the differential. And I hope not to affect the threads. Uh, I hope, because once you bugger the threads, how do you attach this bracket to the differential? Hmm. Yep, I'm going to drill it. I'm going to put Teflon tape on the threads of the bolt. And I'm going to put the bolt back in. And hopefully it won't leak. If it does, bleh. So, I only have five minutes left on this chip. Let's see. Where can we get a good vantage point? Of course, I can't see what the camera is looking at. I think I got a pretty good shot right there. I'll up the, the light where it won't block the camera. And I'll commence to drilling. I think this needs to be a bit closer. Right about there. It's hard to know because I can't see the screen because it's laying against the concrete ground. It's not a garage floor. It's barely called concrete. Come on. So, yeah, that should be about right. Let's see if I can get some metal chips in my eye. Keep this thing centered. Too bad I don't have an upside down drill press, huh?
And like usual, the Corvair guys are probably going, no, 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 drive. And I could drive it the way it is, but that oil is not good. Yep. She's drilling right through the cast iron. Just need a little hydraulic jack underneath the back of my drill. I got a bear on my arm. Not good for the body. Body's getting worn out. Oh yeah, she's biting. All right, I'll pause the camera for a minute and come back. I've got some progress. Drip. At least it'll flush the chips out of the hole. Yep. Dum diddy dum dum. Well, this didn't take long at all. I drilled for about a minute. I'll pretend that I'm still drilling. Don't watch the oil drip. That's it. We're through. How do you like that? Luckily, I've only got a few seconds left. And there it is. All drained out. Now I'll put a bit of, I don't know what in there, cat litter, absorb the rest of it. Well, probably a couple quarts or a quart and a half, liter and a half. Good. A lot easier than taking the top off and sucking it out with this crappy drill pump. I probably wouldn't get to the bottom anyways. I'd be fighting with it to try to place it. All right. Such a beautiful day and I'm lying underneath here. Should clean this place up. Got too many tools scattered about. Goodbye, GL5. Alright, I'm going to take off the transmission plug now, even though it's higher up. Then the lowest end, some kind of oil transferred from the differential into the transmission. Oh, yeah. Gallons and gallons. Oh boy. I think a lot of other Syrians inside Syria would say that that is not the case, that they are a highly educated The low point is right there. How am I going to get that shifter shaft seal out? It's a low point leak area. Maybe it's time for a new shifter shaft seal. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, at least I caught it, so I'll get most of it out of here. Phew. Never get this thing on the road. All right, Let's jack up the front. It's real light. That way the oil will drain to the back. That's it. Got a little bit more oil out of the transmission. GL5 junk. Oh, yeah. Because of the uneasy atmosphere, this time is fantastic. Now, this election is for uh, Libya's National Assembly. Some 200 people sit in the National Assembly. Yep, more oil. It's almost level. Should be up higher in the front by a couple inches. Almost level. Oh, my trailer hitch hook. Rag handle. My rag hook. Trailer hitch. Right, I'm gonna put some jack stands under the front. And jack it up a little bit more. And kill some spiders. Got spiders. Making webs on my spider. Yep. There he is. Sam? Go. Kill him. 
All right. Gotta get that jack up a bit higher. All right. Well, I got these jack stands up, and I gotta put them up higher. It's about an hour. An hour later. Oh yeah. They're up way too high. Way too high. Yep, doesn't even hit the wood. <laughs> I use these a lot, these tin jacks, probably made in USA too. So, what have I done in the last hour? I got this chunk of steel, and I got the hole drilled, and I filed it to receive the bolt that's going to hold it onto my quarter bear trailer hitch, like that. And then when I tighten this, it's going to squish this hollow tube, thin wall, so I got a piece of square tube I'm going to hammer in there and just give it a couple of tack welds, but I'm going to take this to the welding place tomorrow, the guy that rebuilds my welding equipment and sandblast it, it's pretty grody looking. So that goes there. I was thinking of drilling a little hole and welding on a little nub so it can't turn. I don't want to bugger up this nice original trailer hitch, this is a valley trailer hitch. So I don't want to put a bolt through there, it isn't necessary. But just drill a little hole there and then weld a little nub onto that and it'll stop it from turning when I squish it down. And I haven't figured out what to do here with this. I don't want to drill those holes bigger. I've got to cut that strap I think and move it a little little bit. Still there's hollow area in there that's going to squish the body. Maybe what this should do is should go across here to those like on the late models or on the Greenbrier trucks it uses a strap across here. I'll just get rid of this bracket for now. Just use this little draw tongue. I think I have another one somewhere. Then I put my trailer, my bike rack into here and I've got a bike rack for the spider. It doesn't have a lot of weight. Bikes weigh 30 pounds and the rack weighs probably 50, 60 pounds. So. 125 pounds total. All right, I got this thing way up in the air, higher in the front than it is in the back. My cell phone battery is going dead, it's flashing. My camera battery is going dead, it's flashing. I got that way up in the air, it's kind of precarious. And I'll ask the guys at Corvair Center Forum if I should spray anything into the differential and transmission to get the last bits of GL5 out of there. And one day I'll put this vacuum operated blow off valve on my turbo exhaust pipe control my boost or something. I have other plans I haven't discussed it yet. What to do with this turbo boost? <laughs> Talking big buckaroos. All right, it's nine o'clock. I'm gonna go for a walk with Mrs. CW and Mugs and maybe go for a bicycle ride. The days are getting shorter. Hard to believe. It's a shame.